the body is primarily designed for giving up. If you enjoy the pleasures of the body, you will not succeed very highly in life. Righteousness is to give up the desires of the body. That is where greatness is. There is influence and there is heritage. Influence can be momentous, heritage is transgenerational. When your life is living right, the amount of money and influence you have will outlive you. This is what Sir Nelson Mandela, the marriages, never ability to raise the children. He remained only with his legacy, but his children, no one talks about them. The problem with great people, like you people here, is that you are selfish, you are not willing to leave a good name for your children, but you are willing to give them a house and a car, so that they can die in it. So sacrifice. This body is designed to give up. The reason why Jesus hasn't saved the body is because the responsibility for the body to give up is with you. In salvation, he ultimately and immediately saves your spirit. That's his investment in you. Then progressively saves your soul. I'm alive, I don't care what they'll say, but the body is never saved. Your spirit will never die. It has received what? Eternal life. John 3, 16. Let's say it together. One, two, three. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this is a condemnation that has come into the world that he has come and you have rejected him. Verse 17. So the essence of Jesus coming in us is to give us eternal life. So those online that will argue that the body is saved, eternal life is life that never ends. Your spirit has received life that will never end. Your spirit never gets sick. Your soul has received life that will never end. Your soul is never afflicted. But this body, even if they are teaching us eternity, they are growing older and they keep dying the air to make it black so that they look young. Then they tell you, you can't die. If you have enough faith, you can't die. Pastor, stop using shampoo, black shampoo, so that we believe your statement. Moses, at 120 years, everything was intact. You, Pastor, the last two years, your hair is, the entire head is white. Even the body you are teaching eternal life is telling you you are cheating me. Because it's life without end. Then Jesus says, these bodies we have, we will give up on them. He did not say spirit and soul. No. He says, he shall change your bodies and our bodies shall transform in the form of angel. Not spirit and soul. If the body had eternal life, why is Jesus transforming it? Then he says, those that have died in Christ. In Christ, Jesus who is life, those who have died in life shall be the first ones to rise. So how is it that the body is saved and the body dies? Ask your neighbor. You always confuse with grace message.